not mad. Look, I was not among those who were offended by the decision of British voters to leave the European Union. Uh, at the same time, I think that there wasn't really an honest debate ahead of the referendum about the costs and benefits of staying versus leaving. Um, and more importantly, I don't think there was a thorough assessment of the trade-offs that leaving the EU entails. And um, the case I would like to make, and I'm making in my earlier book, Towards an Imperfect Union, a conservative case for the EU, is that for free market advocates and classical liberals, uh, there needs to be more appreciation, in my opinion, of the importance of international and transnational structures in sustaining uh, economic openness and, um, and free market, really. Um, it is not the case that if we got rid of the EU and reverted back to a Europe of nation states, that what would result would be a free market utopia. You know, what would result would probably be a world that Hayek knew very intimately, which was a world of protectionist, uh, militaristic, nationalistic nation states. It's not a coincidence that many classical liberals of the 1930s and 1940s were very vocal proponents of international federalism. And I would like to revive the tradition a little bit and update it for the 21st century. I think it's an important project, which is an alternative both to the naive uh, Europeanism uh, that we see um, in Brussels and also to the surge of nationalism that we are seeing across the continent.